Would you believe me if I told you that you could work from home and make over $5,000 per month with nothing more than a laptop and an internet connection by creating websites for people online? You're probably thinking, well, yeah, I'm sure that's true, but I couldn't do that. I have no idea how to make a website and that sounds like a lot of work. Well, what if I told you that I built this entire website that you're seeing right now in under one hour without using any coding or experience in web design? This entire website was built using the power of AI by typing in one single prompt and then I customized it to fit my exact needs all in just a few simple clicks. This is how easy web designing has gotten nowadays and in this video I want to show you guys how you can start to make some good income from making websites for people and I'm even going to show you guys how to build your own professional portfolio with demo websites to show off your web design work and to land you more paying customers even if you've never designed a website before today. I mean you might as well have your first website be your own website right? There's over 250,000 websites being created every single day and many people are getting paid very good money to build them. It's not too late for you to get a piece of that pie. So let's start making you some money by making your own portfolio website now. The first step to building your portfolio website is getting your web hosting and a custom domain name as well. You need web hosting to actually publish your website online for your clients. And a custom domain name is what your clients will actually type into the search bar to go to your website. You need a web hosting plan and a domain name for each website that you end up building for either yourself or for your clients. So this step is crucial. This alone can help you make more money by taking care of the hassle of all of this for your clients. And it's incredibly easy to do. All you have to do is go to creatorprowebsite.com slash hostinger or you can click on the very first link that's down in the description and it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Now hostinger is who I personally use for all of my web hosting needs because they take care of everything you need at an affordable price and provide the best customer service when you need it. But one of the best things about hostinger is their AI website builder which is the secret to your success when it comes to making these websites for your clients super fast and easy. You can see down here that they have three different plans. The premium plan, the business plan, and the cloud startup plan. If you're going to be starting up this web design business of yours, then I would definitely recommend going with the business plan. You're still going to get the 100 websites available that you can create under the same account, which is nice, but you also get the increased storage and increased performance for all of your websites, which is important, especially if you plan on building multiple websites for a lot of clients in the future. It's a little bit more of an investment, but if you think about it, your first web design job is going to pay for this hosting plan immediately, so it's an investment in your future. And also, if you take advantage of the new year sale that Hostinger is going up with right now, you can get up to 79 percent off of your hosting plan. So I would definitely check out the sale that they have going on right now. After you select the business plan, you'll be asked to choose your period. This is basically how often you're going to make payments for your hosting plan. Obviously, the bigger the period that you commit to, the bigger the discount you're going to get. So you guys can decide how long you want to commit to your contracts. After that, just fill out your billing information. Also, just a heads up, make sure my coupon code is applied down here. This is how you're going to get that massive discount on your hosting plan. All right. Once you sign up for your hosting and you fill out your payment information, you'll be taken to the hosting setup screen. This is where you're going to set up your first website. Now, halfway through the process, you'll see that you have an option for WordPress or for the Hostinger web builder. I've got to say, Hostinger has their AI website builder, which makes things super easy. So that's what I'm going to choose for this portfolio today. Now, on the other hand, if you have a client that requests WordPress, or if you want to go that route, there's hundreds of pre-made professional templates that you guys can choose from and get started really quick and easy. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check out some of my videos on the channel to see how you can build complete WordPress websites. After that, I'll choose the free domain name that comes included with the business hosting plan that we just purchased. And after answering a couple more questions, I will finally be prompted to create a website with the AI website builder. Now, this is the prompt that we're going to be filling out to have AI build your website for you. So whenever you're ready, you guys can click on start creating in order to use the AI web builder. And if you guys want, instead of using AI, you can always just click down here and say, or I can use a pre-made template and you can build it yourself. But we're going to be using the AI functionality. All right. So from here, you're going to be asked three different questions. And then we have some personalization settings down below. And you'll see that when I hit the plus button, we have two different options down below. And we'll get to those in just a second. So the first thing is you need to enter in your brand name, which is pretty self-explanatory. Just enter in the name of your company. So for this example, we're creating a company that's called... CAPW portfolio site. Because if you guys remember earlier, our domain that we purchased was CAPW portfolio site. So I'm just pretending that's the name of my business. Obviously, if we were building a website for walmart.com, we would put Walmart as the brand name. That's just an example off the top of my head, but you get the idea. After filling in your brand name, we can enter in the website type and you have a bunch of different types down below. We've got online store, blog, business showcase, portfolio, landing page, and other. Now I'm going to be doing a portfolio for this tutorial. So we're going to click on portfolio portfolio right here. And then next we have the description, which you'll see an example of the description inside of the box right here. And if that's not enough for you, you can also click on the C example and have a second example down below for you guys as well. So go ahead and put in a little description about your business.
All right, so once you're done putting in a description for AI to be able to write up some text content for you, we can move on to the personalization settings. And my recommendation with the description is to be as descriptive as possible because you're telling AI everything about your business. This is what it's going to go off of when it tries to create a bunch of pictures and text for your website. So you wanna be as specific as possible and give it a lot of stuff to work with. Okay, so once you're done with your description, we can scroll on down to the personalization settings. You have style and colors, and you guys can choose which one you want, if you want more of a bold style or a minimal style. And then you guys can also choose the colors. Either you ask to surprise me, where AI will choose the color for you, or you guys can click on my color palette and add in your own color palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my own color palette right here by just clicking on all of these. Let's add like a dark gray. And then for the white, let's do a little bit more of like a bone white, something like this. I think that's going to be a good color scheme. And then I'm also going to select a minimal website. When you're ready, just click on create website. And now AI is going to build an entire website for you. And it's going to write unique text content for your website, as well as find a bunch of pictures that match the industry that you just told it that you're in. And just like that, you have a full website designed for you by AI and you didn't even have to lift a finger. All you do is just fill out that one prompt and you're done. So you'll notice that we have this really clean uh, hero section right up here with some text talking about captivating web designs and that we create stunning WordPress websites that showcase your brand. So you can see that AI listens to what you tell it and it will write out content for your website as well as pick images that are applicable to your industry. And so you see that we have an image here of someone doing some graphical design for a website page. Page, right? So if we scroll on down, we have the project section, which is kind of like the portfolio where we can show off different projects that we're working on as well as testimonials. And then we have like this little about section, I guess. And then we have the footer as well. So it's kind of a simple website, but it is cool that AI builds it for you. You can also fully interact with this website. So you can click on the contact page over here and see your contact page. And you can also click on the portfolio page, which is where you're going to put all of the projects that you're working on, as you can see. Now, this is the hosting or website builder. After AI builds the website for you, you guys can come in here and change different parts of your website. So you're not stuck with what AI gives you. It's just a template to go off of. So if you guys ever want to change some text, all you have to do is just click on some text on your website and then you can click on edit text. And now you'll see that I am typing directly onto my website screen, which is pretty cool. You guys can also change things like the color by clicking right here and you can choose your color of the font. You can change the style if you want to change from a heading to a paragraph text. And you can also change the font, which is pretty important so that you can customize the site the way you want. You can change the size as well as any other typography options that you need. When you're done, just click out of the box and you're good to go. If you ever want to move some text around, you just click on the widget and you can drag it wherever you want inside of the zone. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back. If you ever want to edit some small text, because this is a heading text, it's the exact same process. We can just click on it. Let me just drag these up. You click on it and click on edit text. And from here, you can literally just start typing. If you want to edit an image on your website, you just click on the image and then you can click on edit image. And now you'll see over here on the right hand side, we can replace the image that's on our website. So if you click on replace image, you can either upload a file from your computer if you already have one saved, or you can use the free images option and search for stock images for your website that are royalty free. And just like that, you can use whatever images you want for free from the internet. Now that you guys know how to switch pictures and text, I also want to show you that there are AI tools built into the website builder that you can use. If you ever want to have AI write out paragraphs for you, for instance, for your about section, you can click on the paragraph and click on AI writer and you can have AI write a paragraph for you. It's similar to ChatGPT. You can do the same thing with images. If you click on one of the images, you can click on generate image right here. And then you can use the hosting or AI image generator to generate whatever images you want. And you can see they have an example right here, a small bird perched on a branch in a forest. And you'll see that these are a bunch of birds that are small perched on a branch in a forest. And then you also have different styles that you can select before generating the image right here. It is important to note, however, that the AI image generator is going to use credits and you have stock four out of five credits so you have five credits ready to go. You have to buy more credits if you want to use it for more than just one image. Just a heads up. If you ever want to edit a button on your website, just click on the button and you can click on edit button. And from here, you guys can change the button text right here. And then you can also change the address right here. If you want to change the style, you can click on the style tab and change things like the text color and the fill color, as well as the font size. If you want to change the background of your website, just click out here on the background and then click on edit section. And now you can choose to have a color in the background like this, or you can go to image and select an image for your background as well. You can also add an image overlay like this. 
If you want to adjust the height of a section, you can just click on the line in between the section and drag it like this. And then we can move this button down as well. If you want to edit the contact form that's on your website, we're going to go to the contact page and you can click on the contact form and click on edit form. From here, you can change the form name, which isn't visible on this website. And then we can also change the email where all of these notifications are going to go. After that, you can go to the fields tab and you can change the fields that you have displayed on your contact form, as well as add new form fields. And you can also go to the button tab and change up the style of the button, like the text and its position. If you want to edit the map widget on your website, you can click on the map widget and click on edit map. And from here, you can enter in the address that you want displayed. If you want to edit the header of your website, you can just click on the header like this and then click on edit header. From here, you can choose the position of your menu. You can also upload your own logo right here and change the logo width, as well as play around with the style settings, which would make it transparent header, or you could use a color. In the same way, you can edit the footer by going to the very bottom and clicking on edit section. From here, you can edit the footer by changing the background if you'd like. And you can also edit the widgets inside of your footer the exact same way you would edit widgets anywhere else on your website. If you want to add pages to your website, you can go over to the Pages and Navigations tab over here on the left-hand side. And from here, you can click on Add Page. You can choose from a template like an about page that I'm going to create now, or you can create an empty page like this. You can also use AI to generate a page by filling out a prompt just like you did at the beginning of the video. If you want to rearrange your navigation menu, you can go back to the pages and navigations tab and you can drag and drop these into whichever order you would like. If you want to remove a page, you can just click on the gear icon and delete the page. If you want to add things to your portfolio page, which is the whole point of this video, you'll go to the portfolio page like this, and you can customize this page to show off the projects you're working on. For this example, I'm going to show you guys how you can take screenshots of websites that you've built and then put them into your portfolio section to show off your work. So what I'm going to do is create a brand new section by hovering my mouse in between these two sections and clicking on add section. From here, we're going to be asked if we want to use a template or if we want to create one from scratch. I'm going to choose a gallery template, and I'm going to choose this one right here. From here, what I'm going to do is click on the gallery, and I'm going to say manage my gallery. Now I'm going to remove all of these images and place my own images of screenshots of websites that I've taken. And just like that, I have a bunch of screenshots of websites that I've created offline, so now clients can come and look at what type of web design I do. If you're curious on how to take screenshots like this where it shows the entire screen just like this, let me show you how right now. You can go to a new tab like this and then go to a specific website. Let's do my website as an example. Looks like we haven't published the website yet, so let's do that now. From my website builder, I can go up to the top right corner and click on publish website or go live or update website. From here, your website is published online and you can see your domain name here. You can also click on view your site and it's gonna open it on a new tab, which is what we wanted to do anyways. Now, whenever someone goes to capwportfoliosite.com, this is what they're gonna see. So let's take a screenshot of the home page. If you want to take a screenshot of a website that you've designed, you can hit Control or Command Shift C and it will open up the Google Chrome Dev Tools. And that's assuming that you're using Google Chrome, as you can see in the top left corner here. From here, you're going to hit Control or Command Shift P as in Paul, and it's going to ask you to run a command. From here, you can just search for the word screenshot and you'll see that we can capture a full size screenshot right here. And what it's going to do is screenshot the entire website as if I had scrolled all the way through it and then save it to your downloads folder. When it's finished saving, you'll see that it's been downloaded to your computer. So we can click on the folder icon to see where it is on my computer. And just like that, I have a complete view of the website in screenshot form, just like this. As you can see, I created a bunch of websites off camera and I took screenshots of them so that I can use them on my portfolio website. But what if you don't have any websites that you've built before? That's perfectly fine. I'm going to show you guys how you guys can create multiple websites on your website that are live and interactable. That way you guys can show off websites, even if you've never built one before. And the way that we're going to do that is just using a bunch of templates from Hostinger and screenshots those and pretending like you built them yourself. 
yourself. All right, so the next thing that I wanna talk to you guys about is after you've already taken the time to build your portfolio website and you've changed all the pictures and text, it's how to build demo websites that you can add onto your portfolio site just in case you haven't had any clients yet. I'm gonna show you guys how to create these demo websites without having to pay for extra domain names, which is a pretty cool little trick. What we're gonna be doing is adding a couple C name records to your website acting as subdomains, which you're not gonna get charged for. They're free. Basically, you just get to add three sub websites to your current one. You'll understand when we actually go through the process. So let me just show you guys right now. From your hosting or dashboard, you're just gonna click on the domains tab and then click on the domain that you wanna add this to. Here's the domain that we created for this tutorial. From here, you can click on the DNS and name servers tab right over here on the left-hand side. Next, we can change the type to CNAME and then we can name it whatever we want. Now, whatever you put right here is just gonna show up on the left-hand side of your domain and you guys can call it whatever you want. But for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it demo site one. In the points to field, just make sure it says the official domain name that's for your website. After that, you can just click on add record. You've now just created a CNAME record to your website successfully. Congratulations. Now go to the websites tab in your hosting or dashboard and then click on create or migrate a website. From here, you can click on create a new website and then select the option that says the hosting or builder with AI. After that, when it asks you for a domain name, click on use existing domain name and then you're gonna wanna type in the CNAME record that you just created and then add a dot and then put in your full domain. Now, remember what I told you, when we created the CNAME record, we're basically just adding stuff to the left of your domain name and you're seeing that now. Okay, congratulations. You now have a second website underneath your main website. From here, we can build our first fake website to put on your portfolio. And you're gonna wanna repeat this process a couple times to make a couple fake websites so that you can put them all on your portfolio to show off the style of web design that you do. From here, you can either use AI Web Builder to make three websites really fast, or you can just click down below and edit some templates. Now, once you're in, go ahead and customize the template a little bit to be different and then publish it live on the internet. Next, you can screenshot the template website that you just created and then post post a picture of it on your portfolio website in the portfolio section. And then you can link that picture to the subdomain that we just created earlier. That way, whenever someone clicks on the picture, they're actually gonna be taken to the real website where they can scroll through and interact with it. So basically what we just did was created your singular portfolio website with a couple fake websites built in underneath it. Now you can show off your work with multiple websites that you've created and they're all linked to the same domain name. That's pretty cool, right? And you didn't even have to spend any more money to do it. Having a portfolio with fully interactable websites is a really big deal. It lets your future clients look around through the websites to see what it actually feels like and if they would like to hire you for your services. And when you're creating these demo sites for your portfolio, I would definitely recommend making sure you at least have one of each of these. Make sure you at least have a service-based business demo site, then make sure you have a blog website, and then also you wanna make sure you have an e-commerce website. That way people can see different ranges of your web design and what they can purchase from you. This is definitely how I've been able to land clients from 500 to 1,000 dollars per website and that's on the smaller end of things. As your skills increase, then you guys can raise your rates and make more money for these websites. I remember one of the first websites that I built went really well for a client because they saw my portfolio and they saw what I was capable of and then they reached out to me and I was able to build a website for them for up to $500. Now that website is still up to this day and you guys can go check it out if you want. It's Jumper Media Co. Jumper reached out to me and absolutely loved the website. I'm telling you, having a portfolio definitely helps getting you clients. You may be asking, well, how exactly did you land your first client and actually make your first sale. Well, that's actually what I cover in this video right here. I'll show you guys my methods of getting clients and exactly how to start charging for your services. I'll see you guys there.